Okay, I feel like I want to look for that gun. I want to go back to the place that I had the bullet in that apartment. And I think it, and I think it also would be time to just go upstairs. It would definitely be time to. Okay, yes, no one's here. What's it? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder what that shrub is. Okay, let's just go there. Okay, let's sell our fruit up and let's go sneak into our house. Okay, let's sell some fruit stuff. Please use the maze engine. I feel like, is there, uh, I don't think there is a way to get in there. Cause the tear machine stands in the corner. Your bottles clunk into the. Um, okay, we need seven dollars. Pay for rent. I wonder, do we, I don't think we look for bottles around here. Must be bottles right there. Is this lady gonna talk to us? The woman still has her eyes fixed on the photograph in her hands. In the background, the radio plays. No response. Wherever this woman is. Uh no change. Yeah, let's just let's just let's just go up the ladder, bro. Let's go into the drug den. I, I feel like it would be fun to just confront the bodyguard and see what happens, and just like see if we get absolutely rolled. But let's sneak in, bro. Oh okay. yeah, actually, let's do this. Like, what is this? An old co East Delta Commerce Main Hall. Let's just ask. Off key me. melody starts playing after you ring the doorbell. Then, a woman picks up the receiver. Kuno, please stop calling here. Grown-ups oh. don't have time for your stupid game. She thinks you're the gremlin child. What would he say to this? Try to impersonate Kuno. Oh, so is this key for this room? Oh, so there's people live in here? Oh, oh, it's a commercial building. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So there's a bunch of businesses here. Please open me. Please open the door. I'm trying to get in. Okay, this is the place. Please open up. Sorry, I was just trying. I know I didn't have anything for. Okay, let's try. Pardon? This is not Kuno. Who is this? Please just stop calling here. I don't have time to deal with this. Thank you. Oh, so we can maybe get into the building through this. A single beep indicates that the line has gone dead. And Andra Orlando here. You ring the doorbell, but no one answers. What an ominous name for a hair salon. Doesn't bode well for anyone's here. Hey, boxing. All you hear is static, but no one answers the call. Hours. You ring the doorbell, but nothing happens. Try again. You didn't press it hard enough. Thank you for calling the 24 hour window company. This is an automated message. Are you experiencing Ooh, a I window am. related emergency? During non business hours, please call 00725 477. Six five one. The streets are mean, but we're always there for you. Did break the window. That's only half true. The streets are mean, but they're not there for you. And do we have an emergency? No emergencies. That's us. No, not a window-related one. Twelve name cards on the call box read. Emma's fashion. You wait for a minute or two, but all you get from the call box is silence. No one answers the call. Okay, so maybe this place is doomed. Rabon's taxi. That is me. Looks off. like someone has melted half the plastic off with a lighter. The doorbell doesn't work anymore. You hear static from the intercom speaker. 
It sounds as if someone has picked up the receiver, but isn't saying anything. You can almost hear them breathe. Hello, is anyone there? Yes, hello. This is Tracy Peniel Electric. This is a woman's voice cracking and fragile through this panic. Have you come to place an order? She sounds almost antique, as if her voice was being played off an old wax cylinder. A receiver must not be working properly. Wait, but what happened to Slipstream SCA? There's no Tricentennial Electrics on the list. Hold on, Tricentennial Electrics, I thought it was call I was calling in Slipstream. Yes, hello, can you help me inside the building, please? Yes, I've come to place an order. Sorry, I don't actually have a business here. Hold on. Oh my god. The lieutenant exchanges a look with you. Sorry? It's you. Oh my god. I didn't think I would hear your voice here. What? She must be mistaking you for someone else. That call them Melia? Who cares that you don't remember her? Just go along with it. Do we know each other? Who are you? Where are you? And I'm straight up. It's me. Here I am again calling back into her. You know each other? Michelle. Just please. Hmm? Her breath is wait, what? She stops and you can hear her breathe heavily. Her breath distorted by ancient sounds. Sounds like a ghost. Wind blows through your clothes and you feel detached from your surroundings. Inside the building, a cold memory hangs. Why did you even call? I don't understand. You've been gone for months. I thought you didn't care. It sounds like she's shaking. I thought you didn't care. Wait, what? Hold on. I mean, what's going on? What did I do? Of course I care. I just I've been going through some tough time. What? Since I came to work here, it's been different, as if my mind's been wiped clean. A spot of static overrides her words. When she speaks again, it sounds like she's submerged. Is this my wife? What's... It's so nice. It's so nice to be able to finally forget. Yeah. Listen, I'm going to hang up now. Forget about what? She sounds like she's about to cry. The cold is deep under your skin. As if you were talking to someone who's a hundred years away. Somewhere inside the building, water is flooding the cellar floor. Hello? Oh God, please don't cry. She doesn't answer. Hey, are you still there? You said it was nice. What's so nice about forgetting it? Hey, are you still there? Silence. The only thing you can hear now is static and waves washing ashore on the bay. What just happened? Yeah. Don't want to talk to me. No one ever wants to talk. What just happened? Another seagull passes by. It's getting cold standing here, staring at the silent call box. I don't know what happened either. We should probably stop playing with this thing. All right, it's goodbye then. You press the number sign on the keypad that terminates the call. Twelve name cards on the call box read. Wax. That's true. Fortress accident. Silence. No one's home at Fortress Accident. Reverschal, I see. Silence. No one answers the doorbell. Main hall, building B, whirling in rags. Oh. Well, let's talk about Nothing it. happens oh. after you ring the doorbell. Oh, the lion's dog. They don't want to talk to you. East Delta pinball entrance. Silence. No one answers your call. Empty card? This button looks new, but someone has removed the name card. Nothing happens when you try to ring it. Hmm. Huh. This button looks new. It's probably not connected yet. Takes a step back, inspecting the other names on the list. Okay, that's interesting. I like, know that person. Okay, should we phone the armor? Phone non armor. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone. This is Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Okay, now let's be screaming for you first. Have you heard back from ICP about the serial number? If not us. Yes. The armor was produced by Fairweather in their facilities in Betancourt, sur la clé in 42. It was part of a special order for Corps de Pharmacie, a security firm contracted to protect the interests of Iranian pharmaceutical companies in the Seminine conflict. Okay, so I bored it. So, it seems the armor went to Seminine. That's where the paper trail ends, though. Even the firm has proven difficult to track. Corps de Pharmacie has been renamed several times over in the years since the armor was issued. You know what it's called now. The most recently registered firm that the ICP has been able to connect to the CDP is a military contractor called Trinel. And the one before it was Downwell. I think they might be the same contractor. 
Closure Bridge is registered firm that this ICP has been able to connect to the CDP. CDP. Corpse to farm same. A suit of armor like this would have been manufactured with a particular person's physique in mind. You should ask for whom this suit was fitted. First, as the firm continued to work with Arsenal companies, the, with all these name changes, a suit of armor like this would have been customers. Uh, yes, but the ICP tends to be reluctant to sell private sector records. I could try to talk them into it, though. Yes, please do try and spare that with love. Sure. Call back tomorrow. Hopefully, I will have more information for you then. Not yet, but I was able to convince the database people to serve private sector information. They promised to get back to me by tomorrow morning. Do you have any other questions? Oh, I've done that. 57th, over and out. In the cabin, you see a... Damn, I should have done that other dialogue. That's fine. I guess the one and two means that if you do one, you probably can do the two. Run the number on the victim's armor class back in the day for info on the armor. I don't even remember what that option was there. Yeah, let's sneak in, bro. Sneak into the docks. Hold up! Why is she there? Wait, how did she get it there? Wait, 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 wait. How did you get up there? Is that the secret doorway? Maybe that's a secret door. Because that definitely wasn't... The balcony... It's not the balcony. Yeah, there's some door there. Yeah, it must be her apartment. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's something I remember. That's good. Okay, free gear, free gear. Okay, stuff here. This door is going to collapse soon. Restoration pillars keeping the ruins, keeping the ruins together. What's this? Oh, picture. Postcard. Grand Coran data. Money, love it. There's a bed, love it, mate. There's no jumping in this game, is there? Uh, there's a lot here. Money, money, money. Okay, zoom out a bit. Uh, oh wow, there's a lot, there's a lot. How do we get down? Do we just... Do we just jump off? Like, what's going on? Oh, does this actually not let us sneak in? Oh, okay. Are we sneaking? Like what's... Oh, is that just for loot? No way, that's just for loot. Oh, oh no, yeah, okay, there's something. Oh, sorry. Okay, so we can interact with this. Looks like someone left his tarpaulin cloak hanging on the railing here. When the wind ruffles the cloak, you can most definitely see a white rectangle on its back. Wait, is that a cop? You son of a guy, it's a cop's cloak. Cloak doesn't concern me at the moment. Yes. It's probably yours. It bears the RCM insignia, and you have a habit of being careless with your equipment. He judges the drop. You could probably make the jump. You look like you've done some track and field in your day. Look around. What exactly are we doing up here? Do you really think this cloak is mine? Should I go for a jump? The rough air challenging. Go for the cloak, jump over the ledge. Ah, oh, I need better than that. The wind is aggressive up here. The lieutenant looks at oh. the enormous crane towering in the distance. Over the container yard. That machine is a Kvalsund 1020 HK. Kvalsund, I do whistle that, it's a huge crane, just a machine that looks like a giant hammer of hair flies around his ear. Kvalsund 1020. Is it? Kvalsund makes a lot of heavy equipment, but yeah, this Kvalsund. is phenomenal, even for them. But I digress. We were focusing on your cloak here. He looks at the sad piece of fabric. Flapping in the wind. Oh, no, I've been plus that. What exactly are we doing? I was under the assumption we could ask the leader of this union to help us get this body down. This is why we're here, right? He doesn't wait for you to answer. Or it could be that we are just exploring. He looks around, wind rustling his hair. Do you really think this cloak is mine? Should I go for a jump? The cloak? 
I do think it's yours, yes. As to whether you should go for it... He looks over the edge of the coal pavement below. I think from this perspective, this looks like a... Just drop down, right? But well, it doesn't seem too dangerous. Two meter stops. Whenever you're ready to do it, I'll be right behind you. The cloak looks like a bag of goodies floating in the wind. Who knows what its pockets may hide. Damn. But what if I jump? So if I make this jump, I sneak in. But otherwise, you'd have to go to that, through the guy, the bodyguard. Yeah, not right now, but what else can I... Like, surely I don't get... Oh, I don't, I don't die, right? Surely not. I'm jumping, man. No! Don't do it, bro. Oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? Am I gonna break my legs? Uh, oh, I just, just... Okay, I just skip. Just give up. No, no. That's still too high. What were you thinking? You're not a gymnast. You're a boxer. And you've climbed way too high up there. Oh, they are. That's high. It doesn't seem dangerous. The lieutenant must be crazy to suggest that. This is certain death. Let it go. It almost pushes you over the edge. Should we level that up then? But that's gonna be so hard. We're going at two. We need 12. I need... I need to roll like a six for... Oh, you could have died there. Shit, 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 shit. I'm failing you. This wasn't part of our deal. Oh. Uh, hey, hey! What happened? Sounds generally more... I'm alright, Kim. I just, I just can't do it. I understand. Right. We can always come back when you are feeling better. It's just a cloak, after all. <sighs> Damn. You're not right now. So I can't get down. Oh, hold up. Can we... Oh, we can just go up there. Can we go up? Oh, we can just go up. Oh, we can go, go up there. Let's go up there. There's nothing else to do here. We sneak in here. Oh, yeah, we need to go to the... Damn, I thought this pathway was going to be this. I think it is a sneak in. You just have to have Savo Fair or whatever and be able to jump that. Okay, oh, can we get through here? Damn, we took an L, bruh. Okay, so we just, uh, unless I'm patient enough to somehow level up. Oh, uh, unless we can, oh yeah, this is a play. We either go, nah, but Kim did suggest we need to get that body down today. And we probably, but realistically, you could probably wait and do Wednesday, and wait for Wednesday and go across to the water lock. Go across the water lock and try and find something there and level up and whatnot. Because I don't really have my gun or any other property. We have a very industrial harbor. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to get through to this guy. This is. Just in case of a strike, press button behind guard. Her, her, her medically sealed door locked by electro electronic means. There's no lock being on the door, kick in this one. Ah, screw it, bro. Let's just, let's just confront them. Look at one of them. I dream about you all the time. No, let's just talk to the guy and see what's about, what he's about. Your body betrays okay. your degeneracy. Your body betrays your degeneracy. Degeneracy, Measurehead. Yeah, Measurehead. His body totally betrays his degeneracy. The young woman at the giant side agrees. Say nothing, size him up first. What do you mean? My body betrays my degeneracy. My body does not betray my degeneracy. My body is unimportant. I would please him when you get into the armor. We don't have time to get into this now. I don't think this is probably what a real cop would do. They would just like try and get use the authority to get in. Otherwise, I don't know where the secret path is. I think the secret path is that jump. But we're, we're just not athletic enough. We don't have the hops. Are you admiring my morphophysiology? Rip of muscle pass underneath your skin. He lets you look. You must be frightening to stand in the shadow of this racial pinnacle. Be calm, I'm sandwich. You are not in danger because you are not a threat. 
to me. How about your chest? Still say nothing. What do you mean? My body betrays my virginity. My body does not betray my virginity. My body is not upon that. This. Screw it. What is this androgynous display of sexual maturity? It looks down at you, taking stock of your physique. Merely standing up makes you sweat profusely. Your breathing is erratic. Your own heartbeat in your ears grows frantic. And you feel your blood pressure rise. Okay, so we can't fight him. Stop it! You are embarrassing yourself in front of this woman and your pedomorphic friend. <coughs> this display of weakness may appeal to older women with a stronger maternal instinct, but it is a liability here on Battlefield Martinez. Jean Luc, his body is betraying his degeneracy pretty hard. Maybe you can ask him to leave. What do you mean? You have succumbed to Al Ghul. Thanks for told some disguises of US smelling a dead rat. You reek of it. An invisible sword of Al Ghul emerges from your throat. You cannot see it, but others can. It is making the woman in my company sick. Wait, um, Al Ghul? Not your breath, Kim. Is it really that bad? You're right, I'm not always gonna need that dead body to no longer be in the tree. I don't have a problem with alcohol. I just drink a little on the week little on the weekends. What the fuck? And if I need you to take down the dead body or let me in. Wait, I'm Al Ghul. Yes! Al Ghul! He means alcohol. Al Ghul, okay. Do you mean alcohol? Correct! My small skull self. Okay, buddy. He knows it. Al Ghul is an ancient Ilmaran poison. A parasitic fungus that has colonized your race. It is a trick the desert pygmies played on you for humiliating them and stripping them of their land. Intentionally fermented drinks have existed for 10,000 years. The ill and Mara and people do not have any alcohol. It's yeah. It cleans everything. It's just nothing to do with fire. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so he's racist and he's. Right, so we either beat him by strength or we. Changes views or whatever. The Maran people meant everything. There's nothing to do with here. This is a fabrication that alchemists of Yizot and Bashir and the Holam and Hul have fed your people. Go on believing in it, race loser. I don't think this is how that's how history works. Why don't you have another drink? Your features are not yet congenitally deformed enough. Yeah, we're not backing down. Bro. Oh yeah, measure head. Babe looks at him with eyes full of admiration that transcends the meal he about. Look at the profile pic. Play your best. Kim, is it really that bad? Right, I'm a seven hour old and I need that body down for you. I don't have a problem with that I just drink a little against me. Bye -bye, it's not good. It's like a rat crawled into your stomach, got drunk and drowned. Okay, okay, you're right. I'm a servant. I still need that body down from the tree. No, you don't. You need to get another drink. Occidental Aplo Group B4 is done giving orders around here. The influence of the Am Sandwich race is waning. Does this remind you of someone? The guy down there? The racist guy? Point to the racist lawyer manager. I uh, him after pump to my plane the police and I need you to come right now. This stuff is on the point here. I just need you to help me do my job, please. Nah, we gotta be. This guy's not gonna. We can't knife that way, do we? I'm gonna touch. I'm gonna like touch on some subjects here. Look at my craniology. I am the pinnacle of my upload group. The pink blob is a bad example, even of yours. It saddens me. You were once a noble and powerful race. Poison melancholy, but actually. You gave the world eugenics, electricity, and powerful weapons of war like missiles and aerostatic aircraft. You made great gains in metallurgy, race theory, and statecraft. You dominated lesser cultures like the deformed Hemians and the inexplicably potato-obsessed Koikos. But now your ascent to the genetic summit has halted. You are obsessed with sadness and with frivolous pop culture. You will be superseded. Isn't that right, babe? 
It is, baby, yeah. You know it. There is a button right behind him. Just out of reach. It must be the one that opens the door to the harbor. Oh, no way, I can just run for it. Come on, I just need you to move about 20 centimeters back. Push him out of the Oh my, no way. We're gonna get beat up, bro. And Kim's probably gonna pull the gun. You're right about all this. Now I need you to help me get that corpse out of the tree. It was her people who put that dead body up there. You, you, your people should help me get it now. There's going nowhere. You're right about this. Now I need you to get the help. Yeah, okay, come on. Let's let's try and ask if he's gonna help. Enough with this begging. You should leave the stage of history with dignity by inviting the other races to a great world war. Bring your troops to the Simenine Islands and to Boogie Street and we will pulverize you. When you are gone, we will build a museum for you. The walls will be lined with bottles of Al Ghul, your beloved beverage. Inside, we will store the oaths to homosexuality you call art and your microcephalic skulls. There may be a peaceful solution to this. You could internalize Meshekat's race theory. He would take you as one of his own. We troll him? Yeah, okay. Wouldn't that mean I have to become a semi supremacist myself? It is a good idea, because we're not beating him physically. Well, not as such. What you do with the mastery of advanced race theory is up to you. You could reject the findings, sure. Or accept them and become an advanced racist. No, no, we're faking here. We're not an advanced racist. Don't be such a uh, fellow dock worker. You serve the union, don't you? Hi, today, White. Know anything about this mug? Some mug, why? You're not with the Hardy Boys. One of those tatters of yours must mean. Describe to his advanced rights theory. Knock him out. Oh. We probably just do this so we can get through. But let's ask him some questions. The man looks at you. Silent and unmoving. His eyes burrow into the remnants of your soul. <laughs> you are not Santiago. Santiago is not you. Even the phrenically impaired can see this. Oh, phrenically, does that mean the phrenic nerd? Um, okay. Uh, you said the union, don't you? Aren't they... White. Oh, don't be vulgar. White or not has got little to do with this. The race enigma runs much deeper than that. He turns his eyes towards the harbor, seemingly holding me. Yeah, but you should serve them. Does that factor into your life? You keep telling yourself that. Sorry, of course, I said now. Too deep, but. Yeah, but you still serve Mr. Clare is a man of vision and means. He has the will to confront polycultural capital. Something your race, nifistic communists, never did. Also, to serve is noble. It takes discipline. Your petulant individualism has only contributed to your race failure. It is lax and moronic. I'm not a communist. Communism is pretty cool. Individualism is my jam. Jam is a mysterious sport thing. I love this. I'm not a communist, bro. Of course you are, clever show young man. The failure of communism to challenge the world order is the core of your race fate. All around you, the fruits of its defeat. Individualism. Rock and roll music, sexually transmitted disease, above all, rampant multinational finance still reigning large. Tell me where have you gotten your love of pathetic communism from? Degenerate youth culture? Rock and roll music? I said I am not a communist. I don't know what who I am, but that's one thing I know. I'm going from disco, actually. I'm a rock and roll star and a rebel. You thought it was not affect my thinking. I'm going from disco, actually. Offshoots of the Seminese people invented disco while having sex under the influence of cocaine. It is a shame upon my race. But what is done is done. I am not surprised you enjoy it so much. 
This has happened to many of the side products of the inevitable cultural victory of the Seminese race. Um, I don't really know who the Seminese are. I've just experienced head trauma. Wonderful, I need to enter the harbor now, or could you take the body down yourself, maybe? Wonderful, we're down with this line of inquiry. What you need is to come to terms with extinction and never get in that dead body down from the tree. It looks like the button behind him and the tattoos on his face move to reveal the smallest of smiles. Ah, oh, Kim, what do you think about I this? I think this racist is better than the last. But the next racist will be the really good one. That will be the... That will be our lucky racist. How, how do you know there will be a next racist? I like the previous racist better actually. How do you know there will there be There always racist? is. Race is reality. He nods approvingly. Know anything about this mug? He does not so much as glance at the object. Know anything about it? Is your is your kind of thing? Put this in the trash. Put this into the trash lately. Know anything about Stop it? Stop showing me your pathetic cup. I have no interest in it. He had nothing to do with it. Okay. Why not with the Hardy Boys? I am not the first line of defense. I am the last. In addition, these so-called Hardy Boys are an effeminate clique of bodybuilders. Their company is spiritually degrading. You pick up on something artificial in his tone, like he's putting on an act. This is unlike him. He is usually more mm. himself. There's more to it. Why have you got against him? You're all part of you. More to it. <sighs> Uh, fine. They have recently fallen under the influence of a possibly sexually perverted female vagrant and a narcotics peddler. Mm. It's shameful. Hey, who is this? Find out for yourself. Endomorphic blob. Interesting. Of yours, Racists are generally not very good examples of their race. He gestures toward the lorry man down the street. Welcome to Revachon. Yeah. You hear him yell at a redhead woman visiting the Fritter nearby. He must think redheads are immigrants. I am not like them. I am craniometric perfection. I have taken the trouble to permanently draw a phrenologic grid on my skull and features. This should dispel any doubt. Drawings are precise and look true to their pseudo-scientific ambitions. One thing, however, it is not entirely free of throwbacks in the phylogenetic tree. His large jaw, for example, could be a trait indicative of criminalism. Also, his earlobes could be small. Okay, are you sure? I mean, that jaw is clean. I atavistic stigmata. The earlobes are too big. You sure I'm not craniometrically superior to you? Alright, that's craniometric perfection. Alright, it's just not standing chance. Are you sure? That atavistic stigmata makes pussy say yes, plenty. Oh. Babe, thanks. But I got this. That is on his stone face, briefly form a smile. No, the music does not help. Messes him in his face. Okay, let's do it. Welcome. He must I the drawings are precise. Are the big. size of the earlobes is not a real craniometric criteria. Everyone knows this. Your earlobes are flawless, Jean-Luc. Yes. Man full silent, his face measure that you sure I'm not paying measure to you too. You're right. You exhibit forward projection of oh. the jaw. Indicative of schizophrenia and sexual inaccountability. From a purely aesthetic standpoint, the dimple in your jaw makes you look like a baby. This is not craniometry. 
Just an observation. What else? It is impossible to see any more of your bone structure. It is covered in the ravages of Alhul. From what remain of your features, I can see fleshy lips, baldness of the head, and I'm long like arms relative to lower limbs. This leads me to conclude you are not a police officer. You are a common criminal, an offspring of murderers and sailors from Sur La Clé and Vesper, and possibly even the degenerate sheep herders of Ubi. Interesting. So one of my answers was uh, could happen now the Vesper. Your racial heritage is uninteresting. It is the same as all Rivasholians. Your parents and their parents made the decision to reproduce while under the influence of Al Hul. That is the only reason you are here. Uh, okay, let's just do it, bro. We need to get through to this dock. I don't know what else we're gonna do. I guess we just wait. Let's do it, bro. I'm not actually racist. Ask what kind of races there are first. Classification is core to this stuff. Measure I am new to this world. Help me understand its races. I need to know what kind of different races are there. I don't want to do that. Uh, we gotta get through the dock, bro. Do you? The lieutenant looks at you. I do. This is for the thing. I'm second thought. I don't really wish the opportunity to learn advanced theory. Whisper this is for the, the lieutenant looks toward the harbor's electronic door. And then, to you, he lets out an audible sigh. You are obviously a liberal, Sayolite. A polyculturalist. I can see it from your love of microtechnology and your sartorial choices. Do not deny your friend the truth you have denied yourself. There are three categories of race. Tip A, the heroic races. Tip B, the servile races and the vile CF race cauldron of pederasty. Which one do you need an occasional? Those are the Simonis, the Areopagite, and the Occidentals, excluding the Maun, of course. The Maun are riddled with eczema to the point where they find it impossible to smile. They are all lactose intolerant. A common result of inbreeding. A receding genetic pool has led the Mound on reprehensible street parades. In Mound cities like Stads Canal and Vrai de Fort, wherein wooden clogs on their feet and little green tassels on their hats. Wait, who is out in the Mound? Okay, got it. Who is out in the Mound? You know them by the names of their nation states. The Oranese. Gottwaldians and the Königsteiners. My people simply call them Mao. As RNG is interesting. That soldier was from the Sports Forces. Mahun is a derogative term for First World people of Gottwaldian descent. They do not all have eczema. Also, people of Katla, like the Sudu and the Uhu, are much more lactose intolerant. The wooden clogs, though? In some municipalities of Varenye, people do wear shoes made of wood to street parades. Green, orange, and even yellow tassels have also been seen on hats. The Maun are proof that you can have too much Occidental racial purity and tassel-centric culture. Inbreathing has led to a lactose intolerant subrace whom no one can take seriously. Colorful tassels are Let's be honest, not a good tutorial choice for this century. You might want to avoid wooden clogs too. I got it, who else have I then in your The people? Vesper Tines and Messinians of Vesper and Messina. The ancient Meteorans of Meteo by the Golden Pisantic Sea. The Suren of Sur La Clé and even the North Königsteiners. All have Tip A race propensities. The other large Mundial the mask are too yellow and oleaginous to count as a heroic race. True, they are violent and expansionist, 
but they have a glandular problem. He draws his finger across his face. Overproduction of sebum. Sebum is leaking into their brains, making them listen to El Mariachi music, a toxic minced meat-based food, which in turn only produces more sebum. You know the chimneys in the area provides. As proven by the moan and the mask, Occidental Tip A is in retrograde. The Seminese and the Areopagite are on the ascent. The Seminese are in the Areopagites. What's the difference between the Seminese and the Areopagites? The indigenous people of this, the Insulindian archipelago. The Seminese inhabit the southern islands. I am Seminese from the stock of Ulubuiho. Ile de Fontaine. The Areopagites are the master race of the Il Maran deserts. The Simonese are descendants of the Areopagites. We came here during a heroic migration from Il Mara to Ansuland, thousands of years before the lactose intolerant Maun Reden Occidentals discovered this place. Wait. Didn't Il Maran Desert Pygmies invent alcohol and get pillaged just a short while ago? When the Il Maran pillaged by my people were they now? No. Those were scimitar wilding race losers of Sarava, Izet, and Bashir with their Himi servants. Big difference. The Areopagites were fasting and conquering while this happened. You never penetrated the western dunes. Jean, baby, you're on fire. The woman looks adorned. I know, bae. What's the difference? The Areopagites are sleek, long-headed. The Simonese are powerful, mesomorphic. The former is an immutable progenitor, unchanged since the Super Isola of Pericarnassus. Ancient brains rest in their slender skulls. Keep all silent, contemplating the beauty and mystery. The latter is perfected and adapting. Together, they form the Simeno Areopagite, or Simeopagite Super Race. That is all. There are no more Tip A races in the world. Tip B are the unheroic races. Amorphous non-competitors of the great race. The Koikos and the Vacholier, they are mud-colored people. The Koikos of Grad, Yugo, Zimsk, Chest et al. are what you would call white officer in a suspect description. Ah, you say Koikos have been trained here as white. Yes. To an untrained eye, the Koiko appear white and pinkish, like a hand sandwich. But look into their eyes and you will see. They are of an indistinct color, and so is their skin. Unhealthy, muddy, and ashen. Pinkness is a racial quality that has to be earned through centuries of advanced ballistic warfare and cultural domination that the Grad people have undergone for drinking al rule and smoking the degenerate tobacco and for eating potato. The Koiko, the countless micro-nationalities of Grad, are all inexplicably obsessed with potat. The only thing they like more is dividing into microscopic ethnostates. Like political amoeba. Wouldn't he be one for ethnostates? You don't like ethnostates? The virtual is. <laughs> they are microscopic. The Semino Areopagite super state will cover the entire remaining planetary crust uninterrupted. From Holy Seminine to the Boreal Plateau of Katla. Its leaders will be the genetic epitome of the Simonese and Areopagite stock, elected by nature, not the base in our spoilage called Demos. And, uh, they just... The Vacholians, halfway between Tip A and the Racial Coldron, too mixed to know right from wrong. 
You tried your degenerate little reparation, which was the single greatest failure committed by humans in our 82,000 year history on this planet. Is it 82,000 years that we've been recording history? You have very little idea of what is happening, but that seems a little off. Is it 82,000 years that we've been recording history? You have very little idea, little idea what is happening, that seems a little off. History hasn't lasted that long. That revolution, revolution sounds like it was actually really good in history. That revolution sounds like it was perpetrated by Jared, but the world is not all the people of Russia. Go away, shoot the blue What was this revolution? Pretty sure history hasn't lasted that long. The mysteries of the people of this planet are a tragedy that has played out countless times over, like a fever dream of skin, hair, and bone. Wake up, naive Chespius. Uh. Yeah, the revolution mean? came to Ravachol from Grad, in Zara's written potato cards. It is literally an illness, a prion disease that leaves the parietal and frontal lobe ridden with holes. A soft, sponge-like mass of dementia, hallucination, and paranoia. The revolution is fatal familial in some a hereditary prion condition passed from the Koiko to the Occidentals. But not sexually. Probably through trade roots and potato acid, the prime component of the potato plant. Enough of Tibet mediocrity. You know it sounds bad with alcohol. Bio CF race cultured of the Tips, the F, are a museum of failed chimeric experiments and tragic maladaptations. They are tortured creatures waiting to be put to sleep. Your morbid interest in them worries me. Chimeric experiments, yes, I'm not going to. Chimeric? Lesser races like the Mosquito, a grotesque mixture of a masked woman and a Semenes man. Only possible if the mother is mask and the father Semenese. The other way around, they fail to produce offspring. The mosquito is born sterile, like a donkey. All they have left is to ride customized motor carriages with hydraulic suspension, listening to aggressive El Mariachi music to vent their impotent despair. It seems unlikely that two human beings produce genetically sterile offspring. Oh, uh, yeah, Mr. What's that But aren't humans too similar to produce genetically sterile offspring? Any more, I don't see. You are right. You have misunderstood. Oh. You lack basic phylogenetic education. Then there is the Simino Koiki Chimera. Are you sure you wish to know of the Simino Koiki Chimera? It is not an aesthetic sight. Oh, uh, yes. The Koiko, as you know, are very servile, especially when they meet the rich man. Racial scientists have toyed with the idea of crossing the Simonese with the Koiko to produce a super worker of Simonese strength and grad servility. This will never happen. The Simonese and the Koiko may have similar interbreeding problems as the Mosquito. We will oh. never know precisely. No Simonese man could maintain an erection in the suffocating potato stench of a Koiko woman or Koika. But enough. It is cruel to entertain ourselves with the deformities of Tipse F. Were there any able-bodied races you needed education on? Now that we've been through all the dives to answer the advanced question. You understand nothing. To solve the great race enigma, you have to first ask yourself, what is the race enigma? You have not even worded the mystery. Let alone solve it. Will you help me get the body down if I do? We will see. Access to the Union is important for our investigation. But there may be another way in. Without becoming a race theoretician. 
Okay, we'll accept it though, because it would be another part. How do I word the mystery? You need to internalize what you have heard here today, then return to me. This clarity does not come instantly. Yeah, that's disgusting. I cannot possibly imagine what else we have to discuss, Tibere Vasholian. Your love for disco music and venereal disease? Okay, well. I can do it. As you turn, a bright light catches your eye, Maybe making you squint. squint. Oh, where's it going from? Cool. So cool. Where's it going from? From a distant sunset, a stage light, flash photography, nowhere in particular. It's just what superstar law officers do. They squint at lights and they solve shit. Actually, now that I hear Superstar and Law Official, in a sense, they sound weird together. Yeah, that's me. I've been established in my Superstar and Heart lately. Um, what are know. you? Deaf? They're perfect. Like rock star politician and drug Whoa. addict teacher. Embrace the superstardom you've worked so hard to establish. Yeah, that's me. I've been established in my Superstar and Heart lately. You've got Lauren Fisher. I'm no Superstar. I'm trash. I'm a Superstar. Yeah, you have. You're a big dick cop. Dick Mullen. Salam Rocky Bay, badass on the edge disco cop. Time to recede into a ludicrous fantasy world. Here we go. Camera, lights. Action, wait, what's that? No, ludicrous fantasy. Action. With a sudden flash, the world freezes around you, and you along with it. In an iconic monochrome solution, a black silhouette against a rasterized orange world. It's on. Alright, let's see what we need to do. The advanced rate theory and the idea into a free internalized slot in your head. If there are no free slots, free one up, then pass some time when it's internalized, return to measure head is out things and stuff. Okay, so I can do the waiting. Yeah, okay, I think that, I think this is where waiting matters. Damn, that's so close. Okay, so I probably should just get it so I have some way to get through. I'm kind of surface star. Law force minus two logical. I see minus one drama four by the episode. That's a fantastic race as well. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow. Well. Let's stop. Oh, okay, so still, still, yeah, still has my progress. That's cool. We do this one. One hour forty. Okay. Yeah, okay, so Kim doesn't have any specifics. Okay, what's the other way to get in, though, bro? This guy, many address. Hold on, wondering, man. How can I help you? Maybe, I think the other way is just to wait. I don't know how else I'm going to get in today. Punch a guy out. Do you say that really big race there is gone in a button? Not before you get in there and get your ass whooped. Learn by failure. Learn by failure, I always say. He smokes. He might have some advice, but you've got to at least try to fight Mejhead first. Return if you fail. Okay, so that in that implies that I'm not I'm I'm able to just continue. <sighs> yeah, so why is this guy not fighting him? This guy looks like he can Poison. Oh, but I only got 17%, man. And what else is there to do, though? No, wait. The worn and beaten wooden. Hmm. We can sit on benches after we've solved the murder. Let's go. You can revisit the bench if you ever. Yeah, so how do I pass the time with him here? Can I ask him to leave or something? Is that not allowed?
Yes. Excuse me. Oh, okay. This is out. What if I want to work this schedule and beat it? You're claiming myself nothing. You have a, a distinctive way of walking. If I were to walk in front of you, we would surely collide. What do you mean, distinct? I hope you don't take this the wrong way. It's just a collegial observation. In the 57th, we call it the Jamrock Shuffle. Officers from Jamrock's 41st precinct tend to move a bit erratically. They say it's a scene-clearing technique developed by one of your lieutenants for gathering evidence. It's erratic, yet thorough. Prioritizes containers. Yes, okay. but containers contain things, shiny things. They're interesting. You're kidding me, why can it? He simply nods. Oh, you're okay. oh there's, okay, this is neat. What do you want to know? We have the preliminary info again now. Let me speak the scene. What's there to say? It's just stupidity. Oh, I can do this. What kind of stupidity? The cop kind. Our precincts can't decide if Martinez is part of Jamrock or the Industrial Harbor. Yours or mine, as if we somehow own parts of the city. Typical street gang mentality. So we've let the Union make a mockery of law enforcement here. And now it's come to its natural conclusion. Oh, so this is, so, ah, so this is a struggle over who runs Martinez. Well, sort of. It's less a matter of who gets to police Martinez than who has to. It's an orphan district, in other words. I think the dispatch desk just told both our stations about the hanging. There was quite a brouhaha at the 57th, I can tell you that. Time to settle it, they said. Cop off. But I assure you, I am not their finest or toughest with 102 cases solved. What I am is least interested in a pissing competition. So, he volunteered to represent the 57th, but not out of competitiveness. On the contrary, somewhere in your mind hangs a dark green blackboard. There are two columns. One says, cases solved. The other, confirmed kills. Close your eyes, so you volunteered to spoil it. For some reason, I thought you had 104 solved cases. Let's measure what my name is. I wonder what this says about me. Okay, now for the competition then. The rows are endless. Jean Vitmer, Judith Minot, a special consultant. What was his name? Then the rows degrade into green nothingness. So you volunteered to follow them. That means I thought you had a hundred. What's good? Yes. I am an unrepentant spoil sport. Lieutenant and Pierce, please with this. That means I thought you had funded. Well, technically. The official record keeper has been known to double count murder suicides. A common accounting gimmick used to inflate precinct stats. So you're still a good cop, right? Let's go. I'm good, 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 good. I'm good enough for this case. I'm not here to compete. I came because I had to. My fellow officers, the sergeants in particular, would have made this scene into a circus. Uh, what's so special? Martinez. Nothing. It's just a puddle at the end of some drain pipe. No one cares about this place. They care about sports. Most of our colleagues don't even know how to get here. North of the interchange doesn't exist. A tremble comes over you. Another after effect of ethanol poisoning, perhaps. Feels like leaves do when they rustle in the breeze. Somewhere far away, below the turbine. The 41st and the 57th. The lieutenant was right. It's not about who gets what's north. It's about who doesn't. I wonder what this says about me that was that I was sent by the hmm. station. There's an eyebrow thing in its bets to let you make It's all part of the master plan, you see. I'm a highly experimental cop, but if I am right, this is alter even by my standards. I butchered that, sorry. I was sent to is your lesson style. There can only be one. Oh, so I can like ditch Kim. Ah, we can't ditch him, but we might need to wait a bit. Wait for that thought to finish. There can only be one conclusion. I am the finest case solving machine sent to outperform you in every, ma every way imaginable. Must be an augury. An apocalyptic omen sent by my people. Can you guess my message? Don't be scared, but I think I might have supernatural abilities. I probably have an unbelievable kill count. I'm going to leave why I was sent here. That unspecified. I'll just leave it. The silence carries. Okay, enough of the comp competition, then tell me something else. The silence carries. Yes, it's a wholly pointless matter. 
Forget I ever mentioned it. Um. Oh, why did the forty-first? Oh. I don't know what this was about. Why did the forty-first? Sorry, cop. Just you like your Sylvie suicide? Oh. What I mentioned. Oh no! Is this? Oh god. Look at you. It's because you're a failure. Oh. They sent you to slight precinct fifty-seven. What slight? Like give them the edge? No, no, that can't be right. Yeah, that makes more sense than other stuff I thought of. Just think about it for a second. You're a raging alcoholic who showed up three days late wearing piss-stained disco garb. You weren't sent here to win. And what if my precinct, precinct sent me on this case because of because a joke? I've considered it. Where's the somber? So it's true, but it's not true, right? So it's it would be immensely ugly of them. Not to mention unprofessional, but I also think it's somewhat unlikely. Why is that? I checked the records. This jurisdiction dispute, through Policies Martinez, reaches back to the 30s. It's as old as my station. And all this time, we can't decide who gets Martinez? I think, yes, both stations would prefer a win. So you are their finest. Do you really see me as a safe bet? I am the finest of nothing. Do you really see me as a safe, safe? bet? Safe? No. But you are old. You've made it this far. Something has brought you through. We've only just started working together, so I don't know what it is yet. But it's there. So no, Thanks, I man. don't think they sent you as a joke. And even if they did, they are in for a surprise. Really get Kim to trust you. Nice. Thanks, mate. Now, can I work by myself? <laughs> okay, logic's what too OP. We don't really need it. What's the point of leveling up that? Was well, seven surely like most things you can hyper manage? Okay, I could do this. Oh, okay, remember, remember. Let's go. Let's check the checks. Um, these are all. The, oh, this. What was the? I want to see that. Came back in back out. Tommy box. Or something. Did you count? Uh, you know, empathy. Yeah, that's fine. Adam Heindel, Matt Wall. Nice. Joyce, Volition. I remember these. Like, those on white are very. Oh, okay, so those on white are very. Right. Cafeteria window percent. Cafeteria window? Right, that cap. Oh, okay, that's perception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, maybe I should try that, but. Oh, that's like extremely hard. Oh, he godly. Interfacing. Oh, wasn't this just a lit? I don't know. Oh, it's. Oh, yeah, I think this one was the one. Get back in the back room. This one. Oh, yeah, this one was cool. I think this one actually is good. Yeah, I think some of it. Oh, bonus from items? What items? Yeah, I think I want to be able to jump. Back. Which items are dogging my server? But what if I don't wear these though? Yeah, okay, we can wear them and take them off as we get. Suggestion? Oh, it's suggestion even worse. The pockets of these new jeans are perfect for sticking your hand into. Makes you look cool, calm, and collected. As your hand enters the pocket, Ooh. your fingers brush against something soft yet crinkly. Take the item out. Hey, it's a chewing gum wrapper. It reminds you of oh. the fruity juice of apricots. 
You should inspect it closer if you have time. Something about the wrapper's texture is familiar. By the way, the raw materials were most likely exported from Seagai, the apricot suzerainty, and processed in Sir Le Clay into the apricot-flavored chewing gum loved by kids of today and yesterday. Mmm, something about it is familiar and not only to your fingers. Alright, used it. Lemon chewing gum wrapper found in the pocket of the laborer jeans. It gives off never so faint scent of blood smell. I don't remember, where do we get these jeans? Lab laborer jeans. There it is again. The scent of apricots with a touch of cinnamon. Smells like the end of some distant summer. The surface of another planet or some ancient temple. Ancient temple. Yes, from the height of antiquity. A long, long time ago. Millennia ago. On an island of time you can never return to. Sun. The sun sets into the sea, but the water does not boil. Instead, it turns to liquid gold. For a moment, the world's store of precious metals seems to increase dramatically, and you are rich. There is a movement next to you. The shuffle of a small coat, warm like the evening. But when you turn toward it, there's nothing there. Why are you talking to a gum wrapper? Bitter, citrus, sweet. It seems to grow stronger, like a glow, with every breath you take. Whatever petrochemical byproducts they used to create this artificial flavor have bonded tightly to the wrapper. Or is that just your memory filling the gaps? Until a blossom of skin and flower petals erupts behind your closed eyes, made of toffee, cream, and distance. You just had to take a dive. The map, by the way. Um, it, I'm sent it. Five hours? Jeez. Well, if there's a longer time, it's a big boost to whatever I get. Okay, perception will be cool. I think, well, how much was it there? Behind the dock workers, a yeah. ceiling height window. It's not time yet. Okay. No one can tripped out, though. 